Welcome. <laughs> well, we're back. Welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. It's good to be back. Got a good one for you today. Going to get into this Jake Paul and Mike Tyson thing. I have some thoughts on this. I want to preface this with saying I would not bet on this fight. I'm going to get into why. Uh, but if this is something you guys really want to bet to, I'm going to show you a couple of bets I think are safer. And I'm going to explain to you what I know, how I know it. Um, and we're going to get into all that. But uh, before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you have consistent make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to make money consistently betting on the sport of boxing. All right, guys, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Get the absolute best gambling advice anywhere um, in the boxing world. Anywhere in the boxing world. Just $5 a month gets the lock of the week. The lock of the week is already out for this week. Uh, it's dropped. It's available. Get the lock of the week. Get paid for this week. Uh, it comes out every week. It's just $5 a month. Get Ask the book anything. Get requested a video. Get the updated props. When the props come out, head over to the Patreon, um, and we'll get you the, the locks. We'll get you the props. Uh, we'll break it down for you. Um, I also give you guys all the parlays and, and different things like that. So join the Patreon, $5 a month. Link is in the description. Also, head on over to carnivorebar.com carnivorebar.com the nutrition of a steak with the convenience of a of a bar i'm sorry the nutrition of a steak in the convenience of a bar that's carnivorebar.com um just five dollars a month i am losing my brain nope that's the other one sorry carnivorebar.com on the move nutrition without compromise on the move the nutrition without compromise uh, use promo code boxing to save 10% at checkout. I'm losing my brain today. Use promo code boxing to save 10% at checkout. Connorbarbar.com. All right, let's get into today. Also, head on over to Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, yeah, let's get into today's show. Let's get into today's show. All right, I was just let's just pull up the odds first. No, no, no but let's. I'm not betting on this fight. I, I know from firsthand experience. You guys know I don't cap. I don't make things up. I don't say things for clickbait. I, I say things that are true, and to the best of my knowledge, I I tell what I know. So when Jake Paul fought Andre August in August, um, this was in Puerto Rico. I'm sorry, we saw. When Jake Paul fought Andre August, this was last December, so it was basically a year ago, 11 months ago. I know for certain that the fight was rigged. Um, this was one important. I uh, was in Orlando. I'm sorry, was in, in Orlando. He got a first round knockout. Uh, this was like the first real boxer that he fought. Andre August, uh, you know, was a 10 and 1 record, something like that. He's out of Texas, he's out of the Houston area, uh, Beaumont. You know, 10 2 and 1. He hasn't fought since. Uh, he had fought once in 20, he had fought uh, in 2019 prior to the pandemic. The pandemic hit. He was out of the ring for four years. He fought once in 2023 uh, against a guy named Brandon Martin. And then he fought again uh, later that year, at the end of the year, against Jake Paul. Got knocked out in the first round. And this was supposed to be a big deal because he beat a real boxer, except the fight was completely, completely for It was completely rigged. And what happened was he was. Made three hundred thousand dollars for the fight, and he got another three hundred thousand uh, dollars to take a dive in the first round. He would have gotten two hundred to take a dive in the second, and a hundred to take a dive in the third. So he obviously took the dive in the first round. You go back, you watch the fight. You can see he lands a good shot that kind of stops Paul, kind of stops him in his track. You can see he doesn't follow up. The reason why he doesn't follow up is because he's got three hundred thousand dollars to get knocked out in the first round. Later on in that fight, he gets nailed with a shot, takes the dive. Uh, gets the $300,000. I know this because his trainer, Justin Deshaun, who's a personal friend of mine, uh, also from that area, the coastal bend area. He's, uh, he's known everywhere from Houston to um, Corpus Christi. Justin Deshaun is smart, everyone. He's been in the boxing game for a long time. He's an admirable, trustworthy guy. Um, training him, and he told me that he took a dive and he wanted he got you know his 10 percent, but he also wanted the 10 percent of the money he took to dive for right? he wanted the 10 percent of the whole pot which is certainly understandable uh, and he didn't get that and he more or less he wants his money uh, which i certainly understand 
but the point is that the fight is, was, was completely fixed and rigged and, and, and fake. So I don't want to bet on fake and rigged fights because it makes no sense. It's like betting on professional wrestling, which I know is done. It just doesn't make any sense to me. They can sway it however they want. I don't think Mike Tyson is going to throw the fight. I think Mike Tyson has too much respect for the sport, but it's just the, the principle, it's the idea involved that I'm not betting on things that are fake. So with that in mind, I have a couple of bets that I would make. Well, I'm not going to make them, but a couple of bets I can I can recommend, I think that are safe, that I think, you know, could hit that I, I feel are, are are worth the bet if this is something that you want to bet on. Again, I am not betting on this fight. I have no interest in this fight. I think it is a disgrace to the sport. I think it's just disgraceful. I, I think it's fake. I think it's absurd. Uh, but let's get into the bets that I'm going to advise you to make because this is my job, and I'm going to show you how to make money in every fight. So there's three bets that I, I think make all props, but I'm not betting on the outcome. No, no thing like that. Um, I think this fight's going to go the distance. So I like the over six and a half. Uh, it's pay, paying basically even money. Fifty dollar bet is going to make you fifty dollars forty nine forty five minus one ten. I think that's worth it. I, I don't think either guy's going to get to get knocked out. So I like the over six and a half. I, I don't think Jake Paul's ego will allow him to get knocked out. And I, I, I think this goes over six and a half. I think this goes over. Uh, the draw. It's something I like a lot. In a lot of rigged fights, a lot of fake fights, you're going to have a draw so you can have a rematch. Not the guy's ego wants to take a loss. So I would bet the draw. It's paying eight plus eight hundred. Fifty dollar bet makes you plus four fifty. I would bet on a draw. That's the kind of bet I like. And then either fighter to get someone's getting knocked down in this fight. I like that minus two eighty five. Fifty dollar bet makes you seventeen fifty four. So if you made all these bets, I'm have your normal bet, right? I wouldn't bet my my normal bet on all these. Like, kind of some of these are going to hit, right? And if we can hit two of them, we're going to make money on this. So what I would do is take my normal bet, cut it in half, bet it on this. In this case, we always use a $100 bet as a round number. Um, if you cut it all in half, you'd be betting 150 with a potential to win 150 200 uh, $217 of all three hit. And I, I, I think all three is pretty good. Obviously, the big risk here is the draw. But even if you miss on that, you can kind of get your money back on the other two. So this is something I would look to do if I was going to bet in this fight, which, again, I am not. I think this is ridiculous and fugazi and fake and absurd, and I wouldn't touch this. But if you want to, I'm giving you the advice that you want. I've explained to you how I know that Jake Paul fights in the past have been rigged. I can't talk about any other fight. You just look at this fight. The first round knockouts, this insane. It's, 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 it's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, it's, I would – gather most of his fights are fake i don't know that i only know one is fake um and i'm i'm, I'm just using what i've known and what i see to conclude that most of his fights are fake if not all of them i don't know if this is fake i don't think mike tyson would take a dive i don't know though i don't think he's gonna take a dive early in the fight so i, I like the over let me know what you guys think leave your thoughts comments below please like share and subscribe follow 3d boxing 3d boxing blog on all forms of social media uh the boxing bookie comes at you for every single major fight so we had to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing uh it is november 13th 2024 from texas to the world, thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.